Hi there, I'm Chris Gray Faust, managing editor of CruiseCritic.com. I'm about ready to board the Stephen Tabor, a schooner that's 149 years old. This sailboat is the only cruise currently sailing in North America. We can't wait for this week aboard. Came up here and I just fell head over heels in love with it. Um, Captain Noah is probably the most charismatic person I've ever met. Stephen Tabor has operated for 149 straight years. We just tried to figure out how to make this work. We came up with what we thought would be meaningful and practicable guidelines for how we could try and keep things safe and still be able to operate and offer what we offer, which is this experience that's almost all of it is outside. And although we are confined on a boat, we dropped our, our occupancy numbers down from 22 to 16. We changed the way that we serve meals. We changed our cleaning protocols. We changed the way we approach uh, switching the cabins out at the end. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we went one step further than the state recommendations for keeping Maine safe guidelines. And we required that 100% of our guests tested negative. All right. And you're all good. I think once we get on board, the mask wearing and the social distancing is actually not difficult. Yeah, it's been really nice to get out just kind of in this little bubble. You see their standard of cleanliness. It's, it's not been an issue. And the fact that you've always got this nice breeze to blow any germs away. Knowing how clean they keep the boat just routinely um, and just having that as their base standard for cleanliness and hygiene and I, 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 I was more worried about getting here and flying once I got here not worried about it at all. Stephen Tabor only visits small towns and ports in Maine but the highlight of any cruise on the ship is the lobster bake that it does on a deserted island. Here, you're served up all the lobster you can eat. It's absolutely delicious, along with plenty of butter and decadent desserts. The people who are here are just super appreciative of being able to do this. This is the first feeling of normalcy for many. It's the first opportunity to travel. It's the first feeling of of a sort of lightheartedness and conviviality. When you're not operating, when you're not moving, you have no water past your rudder. You can't steer, you don't, you've, you've lost your way, literally. Um, I feel that the continuity that we've established will in the long run service in good stead.